Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Many of you have reached out asking what I plan to use to protect the screen on this brand new flagship device, and well, your question is now answered. Uh, Whitestone was kind enough to send these out for review purposes, but I can tell you from my experience with Whitestone, I have had nothing but good results. So they are expensive, but in my opinion, the best product of their kind at roughly 65 US dollars, I believe is the retail for this. I'll include a link in the description. You'll be getting two glass screen protectors, the liquid adhesive that you're going to have to use uh, as part of the installation process, and then a UV light that is used for curing, as you can see right here. Uh, it sounds complicated, but I can assure you it's not bad at all. It does not take that long but you are going to want to watch an instructional video, which I may end up doing. And then if you choose to get some more protection, uh, they were smart enough to create a camera module protection uh, layer as well. This I think is roughly $10, of course, optional. I don't think they're pairing them together now, but they may, and they probably will discount it in the future. So let's see if I can go ahead and get this open. And the one on the right, by the way, is for the Note 20, not the Ultra, which I do not have. So I won't be testing it on that, maybe doing a giveaway uh, if any of you are interested. And again, you know, this is something where I think initially it seems intimidating, but once you've watched a video and you understand the process and you realize the amount of time uh, that it takes, it's a small investment to protect what in this case is a $1,300 device, or possibly if you went with the 512 gig version, a $1,450 device. So what we're greeted with here are um, some sc screen protector wipes in order to clean it. This is part of the process. This tool allows you to line up uh, the actual applicator, or excuse me, prevent the liquid from getting into places it shouldn't. Uh, this. I mean, again, I probably will do an instructional on this, uh, is to give you the lineup for the liquid that you're going to uh, disperse, if my memory serves. I don't think the process has changed here. Um, and I think Stone Dome may have given me a coupon uh, for discount as well, even though I'm seeing one right here. You have a limited lifetime warranty on this, just be aware of that. Uh, these are some strips, I believe they're for the sides of the device. I mean, I'm basing this off my experience with the Note 10 Plus in order, you know, essentially to make sure that uh, areas that shouldn't get wet with the liquid that you're using, the adhesive, that it just doesn't travel there. This is the actual mold, the frame for the phone itself that it will sit in. All of this is essentially. And then I'm assuming the UV light is in there. And then the two glass uh, screen protectors are right here. I don't really want to get these dusty right now as things fall out. This is uh, what actually holds the liquid vials for the application of that adhesive solution. And let's see if I can get in here. These are the glass screen protectors that you have two of. So foam pads to absorb liquid runoff. And then these guys, I, I thought that I, that's what they were for, were for blocking uh, runoff as well, but I'll have to double check. Either way, the application process will show it. And I know that this looks like a lot, okay? I I'm well aware the first time I ever dealt with one of these, I was intimidated, but again, it didn't take too long and YouTube is your friend and hopefully in this case, I will <laughs> be that friend or it may be my fiance in terms of uh, doing the, the demo video of the install just because uh, she is better uh, at this sort of stuff uh, than I. And we are a team, that's for sure. So uh, you can see they've included a little type A to micro USB cable, and that's to power the UV light. And basically, once you've cleaned your device, set it into the mold, um, lined up uh, the applicable areas to make sure that the spacing is correct, that the position is correct, and you then apply the liquid, which should come out in a perfect circle on the center of your device, you then are going to essentially apply the screen protector evenly across the device. No bubbles should be there. And then once that's done, you're gonna go through a series of 
curing the device. And again, I will likely end up showing this to you, um, even if they aren't my hands, which you'll probably prefer the other option. Uh, the end result is that you have a piece of glass, true piece of glass, uh, not, uh, you know, a lot of glass screen protectors are garbage, a load of crap, uh, even from reputable companies. Uh, that's why Whitestone has made a name for themselves. They're a South Korean company that, as expensive as they are, there's a reason these do not lose value. And that's because, as I mentioned at the top of the video, there is nothing better out there. Uh, it's not just based on my experience. Take a look at reviews. You'll see it is the consensus for a reason. And once you've cured it um, and you're bubble free, you're good to go. If any bubbles do occur, you have to address them immediately. This is pretty much the same case with any screen protector. But um, there's a little bit of forgiveness, not a lot here. So be mindful. But that's all stuff I'll address um, in the possible installation video that we may uh, be brave enough to share with all of you, uh, if that's something that is of interest to everyone. Again, it's not crazy, but it's something that does take some time, and I know it makes this intimidating. Now, this, on the other hand, um, simple attachment, easy removal. Um, so it's the opposite of the genuine or the, the general process uh, for the Whitestone Dome application. Uh, but still, you know, doesn't affect clarity uh, and certainly does not impede the fingerprint scanner and, you know, is scratch uh, resistant. But overall, that's what I've come to expect with my experience with Whitestone's product is that it doesn't take away from sensitivity of the glass. It feels like, I'm not going to say it feels like the Victus Corning glass employed here, but in general, that has been my experience that you can't really tell the difference between the Whitestone layer and the actual glass that's employed on the phone. That's not something I can say about a competing products. So uh, again, hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I'm going to check the box. I didn't even look to see, uh, you know, in terms of what they list uh, as being in here. And it's probably right here in the instructions and I could go over it now, but if I'm going to do an instructional, that's where you're going to get the instructions, right? And it's a lot easier to watch an instructional video than what Whitestone offers you in paperwork. But Whitestone also offers their own videos. And then there are so many YouTubers out there that do a great job of also uh, demoing install. And that's where, frankly, I went to the first time that I installed. And it makes a world of difference. So any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Please stay safe. Later.